Hello and welcome back to Essential Hair Academy. Today we're gonna to be working with Linson. We're gonna be working on a men's haircut today. And not only a men's haircut, but a long men's haircut. Something that we're seeing trending huge, it's coming back, and it causes a lot of questions and concerns from stylists all the time. How do I create a men's haircut that's cool, relevant, long, and not feminine? That's what we're gonna get into today. We're gonna to be working with our straight blade razor. We're gonna go ahead and get shampooed, come back for sectioning and go from there. <laughs> so now we're back from our shampoo. We're gonna go ahead and section. Really want to focus on what I'm trying to minimize and what I'm trying to maximize. Pieces around his face, I wanna bring that up and give it a little bit more movement. However, I don't want it to read like a traditional face frame. So it's gonna be a bit more peaks and valleys, a little visual, and I think that'll be the theme throughout the whole haircut. It's not gonna be your traditional structure as far as working strictly short to long or working strictly flat. This is gonna be an approach to reading density and managing somebody's shape as you go along. We're gonna section to help us have a roadmap to where we're gonna go. We're gonna work on minimizing these corners here. He has a lot of density in the corners. A square shoe is like a horseshoe section. It's gonna be flat here, flat across the crown, and then flat through the other side. One thing that's really important working with men's shapes is this hairline. Especially once they've reached the point where they're gonna be pulling their hair up, we gotta think about how we're gonna address this. If I went down too low, it's gonna to start to tend to feel a bit more graduated and he's gonna have an excess buildup of weight on the corner between the top and the bottom. If you wanna maintain length from the top, it's better to go higher on your sectioning so that your connection will maintain a little bit more length. So think higher for taller and lower for wider. We're gonna split the difference, all right? Today, I'm gonna to use an unguarded blade. However, feel free to use your removable guard or a stick blade razor to do the same technique. I'm gonna pull it down horizontally and I'm going to channel out what I wanna see. And say your client has more density, you can go in and do this in a couple sections. Razor's coming in, twisting slightly, pulling down. In, twisting slightly, pulling down. In, twist, pull. Small motions. Check my movement, add a little bit more on this back section here, it's a little denser. A little higher. It's a very visual haircut. So let's remove a little more density here. So now we have the side. See that build up? I set a guide to the perimeter I want. Leg comes in, shorter, big stroke. This is the side that was a little longer previously, so we're just gonna come through and really work that perimeter and connect through to that corner. It's really important to just see what the hair tells you as well. You can come through and just shape that up a little bit. I'm gonna comb his hair down, keeping the points away. Again, this point cut is really important through the back. All right, so let's recap it here with this styling method. Right now, you can see we've really minimized the shape here. He's not so puffy. We've opened up his face a bit, given him something to play with here. We left the majority of his length and we've really managed that perimeter densities. Through the profile here, you can see we've minimized this, really created a consistent square shape there. In the back, we've managed these corners separately, really sat them in, dealt with the crown separately, and then the top was cut, over directing to maintain 
this length to fall over. I'm gonna play with a little bit of styling and then we'll shoot some afters. Thank you guys so much for joining us today. I hope to see you real soon in the next video.